We'll now take a look at what's new in DIM Expert and model-based definition in SOLIDWORKS 2017. I think it's fair to say that companies are now manufacturing directly from models as opposed to traditional engineering drawings. Models do not necessarily contain all the manufacturing information such as dimensions, tolerances, datums, etc. Many releases ago SOLIDWORKS introduced a tool called DIM Expert which all SOLIDWORKS users have, which allows you to fully detail and dimension your 3D model. SOLIDWORKS MBD was released in 2015, and it harnessed the DIM Expert data and allowed you lots of ways to publish your model with the PMI attached. We'll have a look at both DIM Expert and MBD now. So starting with DIM Expert, we'll go ahead and dimension this part up. We'll launch the DIM Expert tab from the Command Manager and begin with using the Auto Dimension Scheme. Here we just need to choose the relevant settings. So what type of part is it? What type of tolerance do we want? And is the pattern dimensioning linear or polar? We'll go for polar here. We then need to select our datum. So I'm going to select the front face here as my primary datum and then the central hole here as my secondary datum. We can then choose to dimension all of our features from these datums or alternatively we can just choose selected features. We'll go ahead and choose selected features and I'll just grab hold of one of these holes here. It will recognize all of those holes as part of a pattern and as we hit OK it will dimension those as per our settings. We'll launch the auto dimension scheme again. We'll change a couple of settings here. Uh, you'll see here we need to select the datums again now in previous releases we would have to select the same faces for the primary and secondary datum which could be a little bit confusing now what we can do here is just select the datum labels and it will automatically select the relevant faces for us again we're going to choose selected features here i'll recognize those holes as a pattern we'll press ok and it will generate our dimensions for us, like so. There have also been some improvements to location dimensions. You'll find now that I can just go ahead and select an edge, rather than having to rotate the model around and select the faces, saving me lots of time. It's also very easy for me to add basic size dimensions to radii. We have this 3D view area down the bottom where you capture specific views and show the various dimensions um, on those views. We can now sort these. The sort order can be uh, by name, by configuration, by display state, by custom or history. We have our set to custom, which means that we can reorder these manually using drag and drop. Switching to a different part, we now have more support for drafted parts. So here we have a, a conical surface and what we want to do here is add diameter dimensions along the length of this surface. If we go to our size dimension, we can select the conical surface, choose intersection from the menu and then just choose the face where it intersects. Press the green tick and it will create a diameter dimension at that point. We can also dimension to planes. So we'll go from the edge here to the plane itself. And the reason that we're doing that is because we want to generate a diameter dimension where that plane intersects the conical surface. To do this, we'll just section, to do this, we'll just section our model. Go to size dimension, select the conical surface, choose intersect, select the plane, press OK, and there's our diameter dimension. Now in terms of the display of the dimension, it's now possible to control the size of them independently of the other dimensions that you'll have in your sketches and so on. We just need to go into our options and make an adjustment. Like so. Switching back to our main model, when we're happy with the views that we've created and the dimensions that we've added, we can choose to publish these out. Now there are various ways to publish. You can publish to 3Dpedia, which is generally the most common way. You can publish an eDrawings file, or you can publish to step 242. 
we'll go ahead and publish to 3D PDF. Now, when we do this, we can select from various templates that we've got saved across our system. We can choose exactly what views that we want to save out. We can choose the accuracy of the model. And we can also attach files to this. So here what we'll do is we'll click attach files and we'll select the vendor approval form. And that will be included within the PDF. We also have an option here to create an attach step 242 file. So we'll take a look at the PDF that's created now. Okay, so these behave fairly similarly to your drawing template. So on there, you can have notes that reference custom properties saved with your part. So you can see here, we've got a document title, um, the material uh, and so on listed here, all reading from the part itself. If we go to the second page within here, we have the 3D views that we exported out. We can take these views on using the tools within the 3D PDF, we can rotate them around to get the desired view that we're after. We can also include sketches within this export so you can see the model in a bit more context of where it's going to be used. Also here, if we go to our attachments, you'll see that the vendor approval form is in there ready for the vendor to fill out and complete as well as the step 242 file. So just to summarize what we've seen here, we can do an auto polar dimension scheme. We can reuse our datums. We can select edges when dimensioning rather than faces. We've seen improvements to manual basic dimensions. We can dim expert to reference geometry. We can reorder our 3D views. We can have a multiple 2D notes area. We have better support for drafted parts. We can attach files to the 3D PDF. We can create a step 242 export. We can display our sketches in the 3D PDF. We have a new 3D PMI compare tool, which will compare the product manufacturing information between two similar documents. And we can highlight edges in the 3D PDF when we select a dimension. Mm -hmm.